All right, in this video, we're going to look at solving quadratic equations by factoring. Now, factoring, remember what that means. We're rewriting something as a product of its factors. So if we solve by factoring, what we want to make sure, so we're dealing with an equation, we want one side of the equation to equal 0. So you're going to have to do things to it, potentially, so that it says blah, blah, blah equals 0. Then once it equals 0, you factor the other side, usually the left-hand side, and you're left with a statement such as a times b equals 0. A and B are usually much more awkward than just A and B. It might be like X minus 2 and X plus 5. Um, and then what we know is there's this thing called the zero product property. And that says that if two things are being multiplied and the product is zero, one of those things must equal zero. Right? There's no other way. You can't multiply any two numbers to get zero unless one of the factors is zero itself. So what that means is that either A is equal to zero or B is equal to zero. So when we solve by factoring, that's what we do. We're going to factor. It's going to equal 0. Then we're going to have something times something equals 0. Set each piece equal to 0. Solve each piece. So typically, we do see two solutions when we're solving quadratic equations by factoring. It's, it is possible to have fewer. It is not possible to have more than two. So two is the maximum. In our first example, x squared plus 30x equals 64. This is not equal to 0. So the first thing we need to do is subtract 64 from both sides. On the left-hand side, there is no uh, constant, so it just is going to be placed behind the 30. So it's going to be x squared plus 30x minus 64 is equal to 0. Now that it's set equal to 0, now we want to start factoring. So here our target product, a times c, would be 1 times negative 64 is negative 64, and our target sum is 30. We can use the shortcut once we know the winning combination. We can plug it right into x minus or x plus times, x minus or x plus, whatever, um, since the leading coefficient a is equal to 1. OK, so we're looking for two numbers that multiply to negative 64 that add up to 30. Let's see, things that multiply to 64, 4 and 16, where 16 is negative, that's not going to work. How about, let's see, that's negative 12. Oops, sorry, we want to make the 4 negative. There we go. That would be positive 12. Still doesn't work. So next, let's try negative 2 and 32. We multiply these. They total to negative 64. We add them up, and they add up to positive 30. There's our winning combination. So what we do is we're going to replace, we're going to factor the trinomial. It's going to be x minus 2 times x plus 32 is equal to 0. So now we have something times something equals 0. So either that means that x minus 2 is equal to 0, or x plus 32 is equal to 0. Now we're going to solve each one separately. So this would be plus 2 on both sides, and we get x equals 2. Here we subtract 32 from both sides, and we get x equals negative 32. So we have two solutions, negative 32 and positive 2. What that means is that if we went back and plugged it into the original, it should make a true statement. So I don't know what negative 32 squared is, so I'm going to check with 2. 2 squared is 4. 30 times 2 is 60, and 4 plus 60 is 64. Presumably, if you plugged in negative 32, it would also work. So two solutions for letter A. Letter B, we have z squared equals 25. It does specify that it wants us to solve by factoring, so that's what we're going to do here. Um, we are going to set this equal to 0, so I'm going to subtract 25 from both sides. That gives me z squared minus 25 is equal to 0. This is a binomial, which means it's one of two things. Either there's a GCF that we're going to factor out, which there isn't. It's, it would be 1. Or it's a difference of squares or some are difference of cubes. So I guess there's four things, but two are more common. This is a perfect square. This is a perfect square. This is a difference. So this is a difference of squares. This is going to factor into z minus 5, root minus root, times root plus root. Now we have something times something equals 0. One of those two things must be 0. So either z minus 5 is equal to 0, or z plus 5 is equal to 0. In this case, 5 would be the solution. In this case, negative 5 would be the solution. We're going to open up our brackets and put negative 5 comma 5. You do want to be careful with this, because oftentimes we're like, wait, we know the answer is 5, obviously. 5 squared is 25. 
but we very frequently forget about the negative root, so that's why it's important to have a strategy in place so that we don't leave out any of the roots, because saying just five would not be correct. In letter C, we have x squared minus 5x minus 6. It's already equal to 0, so that's great. GCF of these three terms is 1, so we can just go right to target product, target sum. The target product would be 1 times negative 6, which is negative 6. The target sum would be negative 5. Two numbers that multiply to negative 6 and, and add up to negative 5. When you have a target product of 6 or negative 6, you have to be very careful, because you can get to 5 with 3 and 2, but you can also get to 5 with 6 and negative 1. So that's when it's really important to be careful what these signs are. The fact that the 6 is negative indicates that we have a negative times a positive. Um, since we have a negative times a positive, it has to be negative 6 and positive 1 to get negative 5. Because if it was 3 and 2, 1 would be negative, 1 would be positive, and it would add up to 1 or negative 1. So be really, really careful with the, the target product being some kind of 6 and the target sum being some kind of 5. OK, here's our winning combination. We're going to plug it in. x minus 6 times x plus 1 is equal to 0. Once it's factored, I have this thing times this thing equals 0. That means either this thing is 0 or this thing is 0. If x minus 6 is equal to 0, that means that x is 6. If x plus 1 is equal to 0, that means x is negative 1. So the two solutions here will be negative 1 and positive 6.